Hey guys, my name is Joel. I've been working for Original for a couple of years now and I do a lot of manufacturing management and research and development right now. And I wanted to uh, take a second to introduce a new product that we've been working on. Uh, these are pumped up kicktails. They're an add-on product for your carbon apex. And basically what they are is an additional part that you can slot onto the tip and tail of your board that protect the board from impacts and razor tailing and also give you more pop and more power for your freestyle tricks. Another thing to consider when you go to put your PKs onto your carbon apex is whether or not you're putting it on a new deck that's ungripped versus a deck that's say been ridden and possibly has grip on it. The reason that you want to take that into account is a deck that has grip on it already uh, will not accept the kick. So if you try to put your kick on with grip on there, the added thickness of the grip tape on the board will cause the, the kick not to completely seat on the deck. The second thing to consider is that if you've ridden your board for a while, such as a board like this, um, after a couple end impacts or any damage to the end of the board, uh, the deck actually gets thicker because the material gets pressed in and squeezes out to the sides. So you have to make sure that when you go to put your PK on your board, that the thickness of the nose is the same as the thickness of the deck. So on a board like this, where you have some issues at the end of the end of the tail, you would need to take your grip tape off and then take some sandpaper or a sanding disc, something like that, to actually bring the thickness of this deck back down to where it started out at, which is what will actually fit into this PK. Now, the other thing that you can try too, the first thing that you would try would be to just clamp it down, because most of these boards, if you just put it in a clamp, you can actually squeeze the material back into shape and get it thin enough that it'll slide on. If that doesn't work, then it's time to go to some sandpaper or a sanding disc. So the tools that you'll need to put your PKs onto your carbon apex, uh, relatively simple stuff. Most people will have this stuff where you can find someone, maybe a friend's parents have it, but you need a, a drill, so either a cordless drill or a corded drill, anything that uh, can accept a drill bit. We've been using uh, rubber mallets, but you can also use a floor, carpet, or you know cardboard over wood. You need a 3 16 inch drill bit, drill the holes out through your deck. A regular slotted screwdriver, a pretty big one, you don't need anything really small for this. And then you're going to need a hex key. Uh, we use a 1 8 inch hex key. If you do metric, you can use a 3 millimeter hex key, but it's just going to be a little bit looser in the hardware. So that's really all you need to put the guards on the board, so we'll get right into that. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate putting a PK on a carbon apex. I'm actually using a carbon AV rocker, um, a 40, and basically the same principles apply to all the decks. Um, but as I said, the, the each guard is going to fit a little bit differently on every deck. But the two things to make sure that is to make sure that the guard is seated properly and it's square to the deck. So I'm going to go through that process right now. Um, now again. I keep mentioning it, but seating properly on the deck is super important because if the guard is not completely seated on the deck, uh, it's much more likely to break or wear out faster. In order to get full life out of these kicks, you have to make sure that the guard is completely seated on the deck. So basically you orient your guard to the deck and then you start to slot it on there. It's pretty straightforward. Now it's going to go on pretty easily to a certain point and then it's going to start to feel pretty tight. Uh, this is where the rubber mallet comes in. You can Take a rubber mallet and hit on the end of it and start to slide it on that way. That's one technique. If you don't have a rubber mallet, you can use something like a soft surface, like a tabletop with cardboard on it, which is what this is, or maybe a carpeted floor, something a little bit harder that you can kind of pound against, because what you're going to do is you can take the board and actually uh, tap on it on a hard surface, and the kick will continue to seat itself. Um, or, you know, in most cases, I can actually uh, grab the top of the kick and pull down on it and slot it onto the board. And it kind of goes on to a certain point and then it kind of hits and that's when you know you're getting towards the back of the kick. Now on this kick I'm going to look at it and check to make sure that it's square. So a couple things to look for to make sure that your kick is square to your deck. Uh, look at the end of the kick and imagine a line there and your, your deck being perpendicular to that. Um, you can check based on the wings of the kick, so you can see how close the wing is to where the kick on the deck starts to curve up. So on this one I can see that the this side is actually a little bit further out than this bottom side. So um, you know, again, you could take a mallet and hit the side that's a little bit farther out and 
seat it properly. And once it's seated properly, it kind of makes a hollow sound when you hit it. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't slide in anymore. So this kick is, is seated as far as it will go on this deck. So now it's time to drill out the holes and uh, put the hardware on. So I'm gonna take my, uh, my drill bit here, get it in my drill, and then basically what you wanna do is drill down from the top of your deck or the top of the guard down through the board. So I'm just gonna use that as a little brace. And you wanna try and keep this, when you drill the hole, you wanna drill the hole so that the hole goes perpendicular to the surface that is the kick, not actually the board, which is why I have the board tipped up here because I'm making this surface flat to the ground. So when I put the drill in, I'm drilling straight down through that part of the kick. So I'm just gonna center it in the hole and then just drill carefully down through each side. So once you have the holes drilled in your board through the kicktail, you can put the barrel bolt in the bottom and you're gonna take your nut here and uh, your screw rather and put it through the top. And you're gonna start, you can start with your fingers and, and start to push it through the hole. And uh, once it gets through, it's gonna start to thread into the barrel bolt. So this is where your Allen key and your screwdriver come in. So what you wanna do is, <clears throat> Take the screwdriver for the bottom and the Allen for the top, and you're just gonna screw it together. So once you have both bolts uh, through your PK and through your deck, the PK is now locked on there, so when you're uh, grinding the tail or doing tricks on it, there's no way it can pull off the back of the deck, and you're good to go, you're ready to ride. So the last important piece of information to know about these is when to replace them, because they will wear out. The, uh, the whole goal here is that you want this piece that's rather inexpensive to wear out before your rather expensive deck does. So what's gonna happen is as you ride this, um, you're gonna start to wear down the material off the kick. As the kick wears down, there's actually grooves inside of the kick. If you look from this end, you can actually see there's grooves in there. As you wear the kick down, you're gonna start to see those grooves appear on the surface of the kick here. Once you start to see the grooves in the kick, you know you've worn through a lot of the material, the bulk of the material that's protecting your board. So once you start to wear through and you see those grooves come out the front part of the kick, it's time to get a new set. And obviously, if you slam your board and they do break, it's a good idea to get a new set of kicks right away as opposed to riding the two halves, because with two halves on there, there's a much greater chance that if you do take another slam, something's gonna happen to your deck. And once something happens to your deck, like we showed you originally with the deck that got banged up on the nose a bit, it's a lot harder to get the kick on there once the deck's been damaged. So it's a good idea to keep an eye on these, and make sure you make sure that they're tight and make sure that you're not, you know, you haven't worn through your kick and you're starting to wear through your deck accidentally. All right guys, that's putting your pumped up kicktails onto your carbon apex. Uh, it's relatively simple. Most people can do it at home with, a, with simple tools and uh, I'm Joel and enjoy your wild America. No, Marty Stauffer, dude, wild America.